Matthew 16. The demand for a sign. 16 1 Now when the Pharisees and Sadducees came to test Jesus, they asked him to show them a sign from heaven. 16 2 He said, When evening comes you say, It will be fair weather, because the sky is red. 16 3 And in the morning, it will be stormy today, because the sky is red and darkening. You know how to judge correctly the appearance of the sky, but you cannot evaluate the signs of the times. 16 4 A wicked and adulterous generation asks for a sign, but no sign will be given to it except the sign of Jonah. Then he left them and went away. The Yeast of the Pharisees and Sadducees 16 5 when the disciples went to the other side, they forgot to take bread. 16 6 Watch out, Jesus said to them, Beware of the yeast of the Pharisees and Sadducees. 16 7 So they began to discuss this among themselves, saying, It is because we brought no bread. 16 8 when Jesus learned of this, he said, You who have such little faith, why are you arguing among yourselves about having no bread? 16 9. Do you still not understand? Don't you remember the five loaves for the five thousand, and how many baskets you took up? 16 10. Or the seven loaves for the four thousand and how many baskets you took up? 1611. How could you not understand that I was not speaking to you about bread? But beware of the yeast of the Pharisees and Sadducees. 1612. Then they understood that he had not told them to be on guard against the yeast in bread, but against the teaching of the Pharisees and Sadducees. Peter's Confession 1613 When Jesus came to the area of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? 1614 They answered, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, and others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. 1615 He said to them, but who do you say that I am? 1616 Simon Peter answered, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. 1617 And Jesus answered him, You are blessed, Simon son of Jonah, because flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but my Father in heaven. 1618 and I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overpower it. 1619. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will have been bound in heaven, and whatever you release on earth will have been released in heaven. 1620. Then he instructed his disciples not to tell anyone that he was the Christ. First Prediction of Jesus' Death and Resurrection 1621 From that time on Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things at the hands of the elders, chief priests, and experts in the law, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. 1622 so Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him, God forbid, Lord. This must not happen to you. 1623 But he turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are a stumbling block to me, because you are not setting your mind on God's interests, but on man's. 1624 then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone wants to become my follower, he must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. 
1625. For whoever wants to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. 1626. For what does it benefit a person if he gains the whole world but forfeits his life? Or what can a person give in exchange for his life? 1627. For the Son of Man will come with his angels in the glory of his Father, and then he will reward each person according to what he has done. 1628. I tell you the truth, there are some standing here who will not experience death before they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Matthew 17. The Transfiguration. 17 colon 1 6 days later Jesus took with him Peter, James, and John the brother of James, and led them privately up a high mountain. 17 colon 2. And he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became white as light. 17 colon 3. Then Moses and Elijah also appeared before them, talking with him. 17 colon 4. So Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you want, I will make three shelters, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. 17 colon 5. While he was still speaking, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my one dear son, in whom I take great delight. Listen to him. 17 colon 6. When the disciples heard this, they were overwhelmed with fear and threw themselves down with their faces to the ground. 17 colon 7. But Jesus came and touched them. Get up, he said. Do not be afraid. 17 colon 8. When they looked up, all they saw was Jesus alone. 17 colon 9 As they were coming down from the mountain, Jesus commanded them, Do not tell anyone about the vision until the Son of Man is raised from the dead. 17.10 The disciples asked him, Why then do the experts in the law say that Elijah must come first? 17.11 He answered, Elijah does indeed come first and will restore all things. 17.12 And I tell you that Elijah has already come. Yet they did not recognize him, but did to him whatever they wanted. In the same way, the Son of Man will suffer at their hands. 17.13 Then the disciples understood that he was speaking to them about John the Baptist. The disciples' failure to heal. 1714 When they came to the crowd, a man came to him, knelt before him. 1715 And said, Lord, have mercy on my son, because he has seizures and suffers terribly, for he often falls into the fire and into the water. 1716 I brought him to your disciples, but they were not able to heal him. 1717. Jesus answered, You unbelieving and perverse generation! How much longer must I be with you? How much longer must I endure you? Bring him here to me. 1718. Then Jesus rebuked the demon and it came out of him, and the boy was healed from that moment. 1719. Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, Why couldn't we cast it out? 1720. He told them, It was because of your little faith. I tell you the truth, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move, nothing will be impossible for you. 
1721 This kind cannot be driven out except by prayer and fasting. Second Prediction of Jesus' Death and Resurrection 1722 When they gathered together in Galilee, Jesus told them, The Son of Man is going to be betrayed into the hands of men. 1723 They will kill him, and on the third day he will be raised. And they became greatly distressed. The Temple Tax 1724 After they arrived in Capernaum, the collectors of the temple tax came to Peter and said, Your teacher pays the double drachma tax, doesn't he? 1725 He said, Yes. When Peter came into the house, Jesus spoke to him first, What do you think, Simon? From whom do earthly kings collect tolls or taxes, from their sons or from foreigners? 1726. After he said, From foreigners, Jesus said to him, Then the sons are free. 1727. But so that we don't offend them, go to the lake and throw out a hook. Take the first fish that comes up, and when you open its mouth, you will find a four drachma coin. Take that and give it to them for me and you. Matthew 18 Questions about the greatest 18 colon 1 At that time the disciples came to Jesus saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? 18 colon 2 He called a child, had him stand among them. 18 colon 3 And said, I tell you the truth, unless you turn around and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. 18 colon 4 Whoever then humbles himself like this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. 18 colon 5 And whoever welcomes a child like this in my name welcomes me. 18 colon 6 But if anyone causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him to have a huge millstone hung around his neck and to be drowned in the open sea. 18 colon 7 Woe to the world because of stumbling blocks. It is necessary that stumbling blocks come, but woe to the person through whom they come. 18 colon 8 If your hand or your foot causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life crippled or lame than to have two hands or two feet and be thrown into eternal fire. 18.9 And if your eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to enter into life with one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into fiery hell. The Parable of the Lost Sheep 18.10 See that you do not disdain one of these little ones. For I tell you that their angels in heaven always see the face of my Father in heaven. 1811 Because the Son of Man came to save those who were lost. 1812 What do you think? If someone owns a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray, Will he not leave the ninety-nine on the mountains and go look for the one that went astray? 1813 And if he finds it, I tell you the truth, he will rejoice more over it than over the ninety-nine that did not go astray. 1814 In the same way, your Father in heaven is not willing that one of these little ones be lost. Restoring Christian Relationships 1815. If your brother sins, go and show him his fault when the two of you are alone. If he listens to you, you have regained your brother. 1816. But if he does not listen, take one or two others with you, so that at the testimony of two or three witnesses every matter may be established. 1817. 
if he refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. If he refuses to listen to the church, treat him like a Gentile or a tax collector. 1818. I tell you the truth, whatever you bind on earth will have been bound in heaven, and whatever you release on earth will have been released in heaven. 1819. Again, I tell you the truth, if two of you on earth agree about whatever you ask, my Father in heaven will do it for you. 1820. For where two or three are assembled in my name, I am there among them. 1821. Then Peter came to him and said, Lord, how many times must I forgive my brother who sins against me? As many as seven times. 1822. Jesus said to him, not seven times, I tell you, but seventy-seven times. The Parable of the Unforgiving Slave 1823 For this reason, the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to settle accounts with his slaves. 1824 As he began settling his accounts, a man who owed ten thousand talents was brought to him. 1825 because he was not able to repay it, the Lord ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, children, and whatever he possessed, and repayment to be made. 1826 Then the slave threw himself to the ground before him, saying, Be patient with me, and I will repay you everything. 1827 the Lord had compassion on that slave and released him, and forgave him the debt. 1828 After he went out, that same slave found one of his fellow slaves who owed him one hundred silver coins. So he grabbed him by the throat and started to choke him, saying, Pay back what you owe me. 1829 then his fellow slave threw himself down and begged him, Be patient with me, and I will repay you. 1830 But he refused. Instead, he went out and threw him in prison until he repaid the debt. 1831 When his fellow slaves saw what had happened, they were very upset and went and told their lord everything that had taken place. 1832. Then his Lord called the first slave and said to him, Evil slave. I forgave you all that debt because you begged me. 1833. Should you not have shown mercy to your fellow slave, just as I showed it to you? 1834. And in anger his Lord turned him over to the prison guards to torture him until he repaid all he owed. 1835. So also my heavenly Father will do to you, if each of you does not forgive your brother from your heart. Matthew 19. Questions about divorce. 19.1. Now when Jesus finished these sayings, he left Galilee and went to the region of Judea beyond the Jordan River. 19.2. Large crowds followed him, and he healed them there. 19.3 Then some Pharisees came to him in order to test him. They asked, Is it lawful to divorce a wife for any cause? 19.4 He answered, Have you not read that from the beginning the Creator made them male and female? 19.5 And said, for this reason a man will leave his father and mother and will be united with his wife, and the two will become one flesh. 19.6 So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together, let no one separate. 19.7 They said to him, why then did Moses command us to give a certificate of dismissal and to divorce her? 19 colon 8 
Jesus said to them, Moses permitted you to divorce your wives because of your hard hearts, but from the beginning it was not this way. 19 9 Now I say to you that whoever divorces his wife, except for immorality, and marries another commits adultery. 1910. The disciples said to him, If this is the case of a husband with a wife, it is better not to marry. 1911. He said to them, Not everyone can accept this statement, except those to whom it has been given. 1912. For there are some eunuchs who were that way from birth, and some who were made eunuchs by others, and some who became eunuchs for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. The one who is able to accept this should accept it. Jesus and Little Children 1913 Then little children were brought to him for him to lay his hands on them and pray. But the disciples scolded those who brought them. 1914 But Jesus said, let the little children come to me and do not try to stop them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. 1915 And he placed his hands on them and went on his way. The rich young man. 1916 Now someone came up to him and said, Teacher, what good thing must I do to gain eternal life? 1917 he said to him, Why do you ask me about what is good? There is only one who is good. But if you want to enter into life, keep the commandments. 1918 Which ones? he asked. Jesus replied, Do not murder, do not commit adultery, do not steal, do not give false testimony. 1919 Honor your father and mother, and love your neighbor as yourself. 1920 The young man said to him, I have wholeheartedly obeyed all these laws. What do I still lack? 1921 Jesus said to him, If you wish to be perfect, go sell your possessions and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. 1922 But when the young man heard this he went away sorrowful, for he was very rich. 1923 Then Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you the truth, it will be hard for a rich person to enter the kingdom of heaven. 1924 Again I say, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter into the kingdom of God. 1925 The disciples were greatly astonished when they heard this and said, Then who can be saved? 1926 Jesus looked at them and replied, This is impossible for mere humans, but for God all things are possible. 1927 Then Peter said to him, Look, we have left everything to follow you. What then will there be for us? 1928 Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth, in the age when all things are renewed, when the Son of Man sits on his glorious throne, you who have followed me will also sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. 1929 And whoever has left houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or fields for my sake will receive a hundred times as much and will inherit eternal life. 1930 But many who are first will be last, and the last first. Matthew 20 Workers in the Vineyard 20 colon 1 for the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire workers for his vineyard. 20 colon 2 And after agreeing with the workers for the standard wage, he sent them into his vineyard. 20 colon 3 
when it was about nine o'clock in the morning, he went out again and saw others standing around in the marketplace without work. 20 colon 4 He said to them, You go into the vineyard too, and I will give you whatever is right. 20 colon 5 So they went. When he went out again about noon and three o'clock that afternoon, he did the same thing. 20 colon 6 And about five o'clock that afternoon he went out and found others standing around, and said to them, Why are you standing here all day without work? 20 colon 7 They said to him, Because no one hired us. He said to them, you go and work in the vineyard too. 20 colon 8 When it was evening the owner of the vineyard said to his manager, Call the workers and give the pay starting with the last hired until the first. 20 colon 9 When those hired about 5 o'clock came, each received a full day's pay. 20 10 And when those hired first came, they thought they would receive more. But each one also received the standard wage. 2011 When they received it, they began to complain against the landowner. 2012 saying, These last fellows worked one hour, and you have made them equal to us who bore the hardship and burning heat of the day. 2013 And the landowner replied to one of them, Friend, I am not treating you unfairly. Didn't you agree with me to work for the standard wage? 2014 Take what is yours and go. I want to give to this last man the same as I gave to you. 2015 Am I not permitted to do what I want with what belongs to me? Or are you envious because I am generous? 2016. So the last will be first, and the first last. Third prediction of Jesus' death and resurrection. 2017. As Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the twelve aside privately and said to them on the way. 2018. Look, we are going up to Jerusalem and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the experts in the law. They will condemn him to death. 2019 And will turn him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and flogged severely and crucified. Yet on the third day, he will be raised. A request for James and John. 2020 Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee came to him with her sons, and kneeling down she asked him for a favor. 2021 He said to her, What do you want? She replied, Permit these two sons of mine to sit, one at your right hand and one at your left, in your kingdom. 2022 Jesus answered, You don't know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup I am about to drink? They said to him, We are able. 2023 He told them, You will drink my cup, but to sit at my right and at my left is not mine to give. Rather, it is for those for whom it has been prepared by my Father. 2024 Now when the other ten heard this, they were angry with the two brothers. 2025 but Jesus called them and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and those in high positions use their authority over them. 2026 It must not be this way among you. Instead whoever wants to be great among you must be your servant. 2027 And whoever wants to be first among you must be your slave. 2028 Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Two blind men healed. 2029 As they were leaving Jericho, a large crowd followed them. 
2030. Two blind men were sitting by the road. When they heard that Jesus was passing by, they shouted, Have mercy on us, Lord, Son of David. 2031. The crowd scolded them to get them to be quiet. But they shouted even more loudly, Lord, have mercy on us, Son of David. 2032. Jesus stopped, called them, and said, What do you want me to do for you? 2033. They said to him, Lord, let our eyes be opened. 2034. Moved with compassion, Jesus touched their eyes. Immediately they received their sight and followed him. Matthew 21 The Triumphal Entry 21.1 Now when they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethphage, at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples. 21.2 Telling them, Go to the village ahead of you. Right away you will find a donkey tied there, and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. 21.3 If anyone says anything to you, you are to say, The Lord needs them, and he will send them at once. 21.4 This took place to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet. 21.5 Tell the people of Zion. Look, your king is coming to you. Unassuming and seated on a donkey. And on a colt, the foal of a donkey. 21.6 So the disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. 21.7 They brought the donkey and the colt and placed their cloaks on them, and he sat on them. 21.8 A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road. Others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. 21.9 The crowds that went ahead of him and those following kept shouting, Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 21.10 as he entered Jerusalem the whole city was thrown into an uproar, saying, Who is this? 21.11 And the crowds were saying, This is the prophet Jesus, from Nazareth in Galilee. Cleansing the Temple 21.12 Then Jesus entered the temple area and drove out all those who were selling and buying in the temple courts, and turned over the tables of the money changers and the chairs of those selling doves. 21.13 And he said to them, It is written, My house will be called a house of prayer, but you are turning it into a den of robbers. 21.14 The blind and lame came to him in the temple courts, and he healed them. 21.15 but when the chief priests and the experts in the law saw the wonderful things he did and heard the children crying out in the temple courts, Hosanna to the son of David, they became indignant. 21.16 And said to him, Do you hear what they are saying? Jesus said to them, Yes. Have you never read, Out of the mouths of children and nursing infants you have prepared praise for yourself? 2117 And leaving them he went out of the city to Bethany and spent the night there The withered fig tree 2118 Now early in the morning as he returned to the city he was hungry 2119 After noticing a fig tree by the road he went to it but found nothing on it except leaves He said to it Never again will there be fruit from you. And the fig tree withered at once. 2120. When the disciples saw it they were amazed, saying, 
How did the fig tree wither so quickly? 2121 Jesus answered them, I tell you the truth, if you have faith and do not doubt, not only will you do what was done to the fig tree, but even if you say to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea, it will happen. 2122 And whatever you ask in prayer, if you believe, you will receive. The Authority of Jesus 2123 Now after Jesus entered the temple courts, the chief priests and elders of the people came up to him as he was teaching and said, By what authority are you doing these things, and who gave you this authority? 2124 Jesus answered them, I will also ask you one question. If you answer me then I will also tell you by what authority I do these things. 2125 Where did John's baptism come from? From heaven or from people? They discussed this among themselves, saying, If we say, from heaven, he will say, Then why did you not believe him? 2126 But if we say, from people, we fear the crowd, for they all consider John to be a prophet. 2127 So they answered Jesus, We don't know. Then he said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. The Parable of the Two Sons 2128 What do you think? A man had two sons. He went to the first and said, Son, go and work in the vineyard today. 2129 The boy answered, I will not. But later he had a change of heart and went. 2130 The father went to the other son and said the same thing. This boy answered, I will, sir, but did not go. 2131 Which of the two did his father's will? They said, The first. Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth, tax collectors and prostitutes will go ahead of you into the kingdom of God. 2132 For John came to you in the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him but the tax collectors and prostitutes did believe. Although you saw this, you did not later change your minds and believe him. The Parable of the Tenants 2133 Listen to another parable, there was a landowner who planted a vineyard. He put a fence around it, dug a pit for its wine press, and built a watchtower. Then he leased it to tenant farmers and went on a journey. 2134 When the harvest time was near, he sent his slaves to the tenants to collect his portion of the crop. 2135 But the tenants seized his slaves, beat one, killed another, and stoned another. 2136 Again he sent other slaves, more than the first, and they treated them the same way. 2137 Finally he sent his son to them, saying, They will respect my son. 2138 But when the tenants saw the son, they said to themselves, This is the heir. Come, let's kill him and get his inheritance. 2139 so they seized him, threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. 2140 Now when the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those tenants? 2141 They said to him, He will utterly destroy those evil men. Then he will lease the vineyard to other tenants who will give him his portion at the harvest. 2142 Jesus said to them, Have you never read in the scriptures? 
the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is from the Lord, and it is marvelous in our eyes. 2143 For this reason I tell you that the kingdom of God will be taken from you and given to a people who will produce its fruit. 2144 The one who falls on this stone will be broken to pieces, and the one on whom it falls will be crushed. 2145 When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard his parables, they realized that he was speaking about them. 2146 They wanted to arrest him, but they were afraid of the crowds, because the crowds regarded him as a prophet. Matthew 22 The Parable of the Wedding Banquet 22 1 Jesus spoke to them again in parables, saying. 22 2 The kingdom of heaven can be compared to a king who gave a wedding banquet for his son. 22 3 He sent his slaves to summon those who had been invited to the banquet, but they would not come. 22 4 Again he sent other slaves, saying, Tell those who have been invited, Look, the feast I have prepared for you is ready. My oxen and fattened cattle have been slaughtered, and everything is ready. Come to the wedding banquet. 22 5 But they were indifferent and went away, one to his farm, another to his business. 22 6 the rest seized his slaves, insolently mistreated them, and killed them. 22 7 The king was furious. He sent his soldiers, and they put those murderers to death and set their city on fire. 22 8 Then he said to his slaves, The wedding is ready, but the ones who had been invited were not worthy. 22 9 So go into the main streets and invite everyone you find to the wedding banquet. 22 10 And those slaves went out into the streets and gathered all they found, both bad and good, and the wedding hall was filled with guests. 22 11 But when the king came in to see the wedding guests, he saw a man there who was not wearing wedding clothes. 22.12 And he said to him, Friend, how did you get in here without wedding clothes? But he had nothing to say. 22.13 Then the king said to his attendants, Tie him up hand and foot and throw him into the outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. 2214 For many are called but few are chosen paying taxes to Caesar 2215 then the Pharisees went out and planned together to entrap him with his own words 2216 They sent to him their disciples along with the Herodians saying teacher we know that you are truthful and teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. You do not court anyone's favor because you show no partiality. 2217 Tell us then, what do you think? Is it right to pay taxes to Caesar or not? 2218 But Jesus realized their evil intentions and said, Hypocrites! Why are you testing me? 2219 Show me the coin used for the tax. So they brought him a denarius. 2220 Jesus said to them, Whose image is this, and whose inscription? 2221 They replied, Caesar's. He said to them, Then give to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. 22.22 Now when they heard this they were stunned, and they left him and went away. 
Marriage and the Resurrection. 2223 The same day Sadducees, who say there is no resurrection, came to him and asked him. 2224 Teacher, Moses said, if a man dies without having children, his brother must marry the widow and father children for his brother. 2225 Now there were seven brothers among us. The first one married and died, and since he had no children he left his wife to his brother. 2226 The second did the same, and the third, down to the seventh. 2227 Last of all, the woman died. 2228 In the resurrection, therefore, whose wife of the seven will she be? For they all had married her. 2229 Jesus answered them, You are deceived, because you don't know the scriptures or the power of God. 2230 For in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are like angels in heaven. 2231 Now as for the resurrection of the dead, have you not read what was spoken to you by God? 2232 I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is not the God of the dead but of the living. 2233 When the crowds heard this, they were amazed at his teaching. The Greatest Commandment 2234 Now when the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, they assembled together. 2235 And one of them, an expert in religious law, asked him a question to test him. 2236 Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? 2237 Jesus said to him, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. 2238 This is the first and greatest commandment. 2239 The second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. 2240 All the law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Messiah, David's Son and Lord. 2241 While the Pharisees were assembled, Jesus asked them a question. 2242 What do you think about the Christ? Whose son is he? They said, The son of David. 2243 He said to them, How then does David by the Spirit call him Lord, saying, 2244 The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I put your enemies under your feet? 2245 If David then calls him Lord, how can he be his son? 2246 No one was able to answer him a word, and from that day on no one dared to question him any longer. Matthew 23 7 Woes 23:1 Then Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples. 23:2 The experts in the law and the Pharisees sit on Moses' seat. 23:3 Therefore pay attention to what they tell you and do it. But do not do what they do, for they do not practice what they teach. 23:4 they tie up heavy loads, hard to carry, and put them on men's shoulders, but they themselves are not willing even to lift a finger to move them. 23:5 They do all their deeds to be seen by people, for they make their phylacteries wide and their tassels long. 23:6 
they love the place of honor at banquets and the best seats in the synagogues. 23,7 And elaborate greetings in the marketplaces, and to have people call them rabbi. 23,8 But you are not to be called rabbi, for you have one teacher and you are all brothers. 23,9 And call no one your father on earth, for you have one father, who is in heaven. 23,10 nor are you to be called teacher, for you have one teacher, the Christ. 23.11 The greatest among you will be your servant. 23.12 And whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. 23.13 But woe to you, experts in the law and you Pharisees, hypocrites! You keep locking people out of the kingdom of heaven. For you neither enter nor permit those trying to enter to go in. 23.14 Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites, because you devour widows' houses while you deceive people's eyes with long prayers. Because of that you will definitely receive a more severe punishment. 23.15 Woe to you, experts in the law and you Pharisees, hypocrites! You cross land and sea to make one convert, and when you get one, you make him twice as much a child of hell as yourselves. 23.16 Woe to you, blind guides, who say, whoever swears by the temple is bound by nothing but whoever swears by the gold of the temple is bound by the oath. 2317 Blind Fools Which is greater, the gold or the temple that makes the gold sacred? 2318 And, whoever swears by the altar is bound by nothing. But if anyone swears by the gift on it he is bound by the oath. 2319 you are blind. For which is greater, the gift or the altar that makes the gift sacred? 2320. So whoever swears by the altar swears by it and by everything on it. 2321. And whoever swears by the temple swears by it and the one who dwells in it. 2322. And whoever swears by heaven swears by the throne of God and the one who sits on it. 2323 Woe to you, experts in the law and you Pharisees, hypocrites! You give a tenth of mint, dill, and cumin, yet you neglect what is more important in the law, justice, mercy, and faithfulness. You should have done these things without neglecting the others. 2324 Blind guides You strain out a gnat yet swallow a camel 2325 Woe to you, experts in the law and you Pharisees, hypocrites You clean the outside of the cup and the dish, but inside they are full of greed and self-indulgence 2326 Blind Pharisee First clean the inside of the cup, so that the outside may become clean too. 2327 Woe to you, experts in the law and you Pharisees, hypocrites! You are like whitewashed tombs that look beautiful on the outside but inside are full of the bones of the dead and of everything unclean. 2328 In the same way, on the outside you look righteous to people, but inside you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. 2329 Woe to you, experts in the law and you Pharisees, hypocrites! You build tombs for the prophets and decorate the graves of the righteous. 2330 And you say, if we had lived in the days of our ancestors, we would not have participated with them in shedding the blood of the prophets. 
2331. By saying this you testify against yourselves that you are descendants of those who murdered the prophets. 2332 Fill up then the measure of your ancestors. 2333 You snakes, you offspring of vipers. How will you escape being condemned to hell? 2334 For this reason I am sending you prophets and wise men and experts in the law, some of whom you will kill and crucify, and some you will flog in your synagogues and pursue from town to town. 2335 So that on you will come all the righteous blood shed on earth, from the blood of righteous Abel to the blood of Zechariah son of Barakiah, whom you murdered between the temple and the altar. 2336 I tell you the truth, this generation will be held responsible for all these things. Judgment on Israel 2337 O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who kill the prophets and stone those who are sent to you. How often I have longed to gather your children together as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings, but you would have none of it. 2338 Look, your house is left to you desolate. 2339 For I tell you, you will not see me from now until you say, Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Matthew 24 the destruction of the temple. 24 colon 1 Now as Jesus was going out of the temple courts and walking away, his disciples came to show him the temple buildings. 24 colon 2 And he said to them, Do you see all these things? I tell you the truth, not one stone will be left on another. All will be torn down. Signs of the End of the Age 24 colon 3 As he was sitting on the Mount of Olives, his disciples came to him privately and said, Tell us, when will these things happen? And what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? 24 colon 4 Jesus answered them, Watch out that no one misleads you. 24 colon 5 for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and they will mislead many. 24.6 You will hear of wars and rumors of wars. Make sure that you are not alarmed, for this must happen, but the end is still to come. 24.7 For nation will rise up in arms against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. 24.8 All these things are the beginning of birth pains. Persecution of disciples. 24.9 Then they will hand you over to be persecuted and will kill you. You will be hated by all the nations because of my name. 24.10 Then many will be led into sin, and they will betray one another and hate one another. 24.11 And many false prophets will appear and deceive many. 24.12 And because lawlessness will increase so much, the love of many will grow cold. 24.13 but the person who endures to the end will be saved. 24.14 And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached throughout the whole inhabited earth as a testimony to all the nations, and then the end will come. The Abomination of Desolation 24.15 So when you see the abomination of desolation, spoken about by Daniel the prophet, standing in the holy place, let the reader understand. 24.16 Then those in Judea must flee to the mountains. 24.17 The one on the roof must not come down to take anything out of his house. 
24 18 and the one in the field must not turn back to get his cloak. 24 19 Woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing their babies in those days. 24 20 Pray that your flight may not be in winter or on a Sabbath. 24 21 for then there will be great suffering unlike anything that has happened from the beginning of the world until now, or ever will happen. 24,22 And if those days had not been cut short, no one would be saved. But for the sake of the elect those days will be cut short. 24,23 then if anyone says to you, Look, here is the Christ, or there he is, do not believe him. 24,24 For false messiahs and false prophets will appear and perform great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. 24,25 Remember, I have told you ahead of time. 24,26 So then, if someone says to you, Look, he is in the wilderness, do not go out, or look, he is in the inner rooms, do not believe him. 24,27 For just like the lightning comes from the east and flashes to the west, so the coming of the Son of Man will be. 24,28 Wherever the corpse is, there the vultures will gather. The arrival of the Son of Man. 24,29 Immediately after the suffering of those days, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, the stars will fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven will be shaken. 24,30 then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven, and all the tribes of the earth will mourn. They will see the Son of Man arriving on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. 2431 And he will send his angels with a loud trumpet blast, and they will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. The Parable of the Fig Tree 2432 Learn this parable from the fig tree, whenever its branch becomes tender and puts out its leaves, you know that summer is near. 2433 So also you, when you see all these things, know that he is near, right at the door. 2434 I tell you the truth. This generation will not pass away until all these things take place. 2435 Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. Be ready. 2436 But as for that day and hour no one knows it, not even the angels in heaven, except the Father alone. 2437 for just like the days of Noah were, so the coming of the Son of Man will be. 2438 For in those days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day Noah entered the ark. 2439 And they knew nothing until the flood came and took them all away. It will be the same at the coming of the Son of Man. 24 Then there will be two men in the field, one will be taken and one left. 24 There will be two women grinding grain with a mill, one will be taken and one left. 24 Therefore stay alert, because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. 24 but understand this, if the owner of the house had known at what time of night the thief was coming, he would have been alert and would not have let his house be broken into. 24 44 
Therefore you also must be ready, because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. The Faithful and Wise Slave 24.45 Who then is the faithful and wise slave, whom the master has put in charge of his household, to give the other slaves their food at the proper time? 24.46 Blessed is that slave whom the master finds at work when he comes. 24.47 I tell you the truth, the master will put him in charge of all his possessions. Point 24 colon 48. But if that evil slave should say to himself, My master is staying away a long time. 24 colon 49 And he begins to beat his fellow slaves and to eat and drink with drunkards. 24 colon 50 Then the master of that slave will come on a day when he does not expect him and at an hour he does not foresee. 24 colon 51 and will cut him in two, and assign him a place with the hypocrites, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Matthew 25 The Parable of the Ten Virgins 25 colon 1 At that time the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. 25 colon 2 Five of the virgins were foolish, and five were wise. 25.3 When the foolish ones took their lamps, they did not take extra olive oil with them. 25.4 But the wise ones took flasks of olive oil with their lamps. 25.5 When the bridegroom was delayed a long time, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. 25.6 But at midnight there was a shout, Look, the bridegroom is here. Come out to meet him. 25.7 Then all the virgins woke up and trimmed their lamps. 25.8 The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil because our lamps are going out. 25.9 No, they replied. There won't be enough for you and for us. Go instead to those who sell oil and buy some for yourselves. 25.10 But while they had gone to buy it, the bridegroom arrived, and those who were ready went inside with him to the wedding banquet. Then the door was shut. 25.11 Later, the other virgins came too, saying, Lord, Lord, let us in. 25.12 But he replied, I tell you the truth, I do not know you. 25.13 Therefore stay alert because you do not know the day or the hour. The Parable of the Talents 25.14 For it is like a man going on a journey, who summoned his slaves and entrusted his property to them. 25.15 To one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, each according to his ability. Then he went on his journey. 25.16 The one who had received five talents went off right away and put his money to work and gained five more. 25.17 In the same way, the one who had two gained two more. 25.18 But the one who had received one talent went out and dug a hole in the ground and hid his master's money in it. 25.19 After a long time, the master of those slaves came and settled his accounts with them. 25.20 The one who had received the five talents came and brought five more, saying, Sir, you entrusted me with five talents. See, 
I have gained 5 more. 25 21. His master answered, Well done, good and faithful slave. You have been faithful in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. 25 22. The one with the two talents also came and said, Sir, you entrusted two talents to me. See, I have gained two more. 25 23 His master answered, Well done, good and faithful slave. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. 25 24 Then the one who had received the one talent came and said, Sir, I knew that you were a hard man, harvesting where you did not sow, and gathering where you did not scatter seed. 25 25 So I was afraid, and I went and hid your talent in the ground. See, you have what is yours. 25 26 But his master answered, Evil and lazy slave. So you knew that I harvest where I didn't sow and gather where I didn't scatter? 25 27 Then you should have deposited my money with the bankers, and on my return I would have received my money back with interest. 25 28 Therefore take the talent from him and give it to the one who has ten. Matthew 26 The Plot Against Jesus 26 1 When Jesus had finished saying all these things, he told his disciples. 26 2 You know that after two days the Passover is coming, and the Son of Man will be handed over to be crucified. 26 3. Then the chief priests and the elders of the people met together in the palace of the high priest, who was named Caiaphas. 26 4. They planned to arrest Jesus by stealth and kill him. 26 5. But they said, Not during the feast, so that there won't be a riot among the people. Jesus Anointing. 26 Now while Jesus was in Bethany at the house of Simon the leper. 26 7 A woman came to him with an alabaster jar of expensive perfumed oil, and she poured it on his head as he was at the table. 26 8 When the disciples saw this, they became indignant and said, Why this waste? 26 9 it could have been sold at a high price and the money given to the poor. 26 10 When Jesus learned of this, he said to them, Why are you bothering this woman? She has done a good service for me. 26 11 For you will always have the poor with you, but you will not always have me. 26 12 when she poured this oil on my body, she did it to prepare me for burial. 26 13 I tell you the truth, wherever this gospel is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will also be told in memory of her. The plan to betray Jesus. 26 14 Then one of the twelve, the one named Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests. 26 15 and said, What will you give me to betray him into your hands? So they set out thirty silver coins for him. 26 16 From that time on, Judas began looking for an opportunity to betray him. The Passover 26 17 Now on the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread the disciples came to Jesus and said, 
where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? 26 18 He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says, My time is near. I will observe the Passover with my disciples at your house. 26 19 So the disciples did as Jesus had instructed them, and they prepared the Passover. 26 20 When it was evening, he took his place at the table with the twelve. 26 21 And while they were eating he said, I tell you the truth, one of you will betray me. 26 22 They became greatly distressed and each one began to say to him, Surely not I, Lord. 26 23 He answered, The one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. 26 24 The Son of Man will go as it is written about him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for him if he had never been born. 26 25 Then Judas, the one who would betray him, said, Surely not I, Rabbi. Jesus replied, You have said it yourself. The Lord's Supper 26 26 While they were eating, Jesus took bread, and after giving thanks he broke it, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body. 26 27 And after taking the cup and giving thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. 26 28 For this is my blood, the blood of the covenant, that is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. 26 29 I tell you, from now on I will not drink of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. 26 30 After singing a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. The Prediction of Peter's Denial 2631 Then Jesus said to them, This night you will all fall away because of me, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. 2632 But after I am raised, I will go ahead of you into Galilee. 2633 Peter said to him, If they all fall away because of you, I will never fall away. 2634 Jesus said to him, I tell you the truth, on this night, before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. 2635 Peter said to him, Even if I must die with you, I will never deny you. And all the disciples said the same thing. Gethsemane 2636 Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to the disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. 2637 He took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and became anguished and distressed. 2638 Then he said to them, My soul is deeply grieved, even to the point of death. Remain here and stay awake with me. 2639 Going a little farther, he threw himself down with his face to the ground and prayed, My father, if possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet not what I will, but what you will. 2640 Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. He said to Peter, So, couldn't you stay awake with me for one hour? 26.41 Stay awake and pray that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, 
but the flesh is weak. 26 42 He went away a second time and prayed, My father, if this cup cannot be taken away unless I drink it, your will must be done. 26 43 He came again and found them sleeping, they could not keep their eyes open. 26 44 So leaving them again, he went away and prayed for the third time, saying the same thing once more. 26 45 Then he came to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Look, the hour is approaching, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. 26 46 Get up, let us go. Look. My betrayer is approaching. Betrayal and arrest. 26 47 While he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived. With him was a large crowd armed with swords and clubs, sent by the chief priests and elders of the people. 26 48 Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I kiss is the man. Arrest him. 26 49 Immediately he went up to Jesus and said, Greetings, Rabbi, and kissed him. 26 50 Jesus said to him, Friend, do what you are here to do. Then they came and took hold of Jesus and arrested him. 26 51 But one of those with Jesus grabbed his sword, drew it out, and struck the high priest's slave, cutting off his ear. 26 52 then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back in its place. For all who take hold of the sword will die by the sword. 26 53 Or do you think that I cannot call on my father, and that he would send me more than twelve legions of angels right now? 26 54 How then would the scriptures that say it must happen this way be fulfilled? 26 55 At that moment Jesus said to the crowd, Have you come out with swords and clubs to arrest me like you would an outlaw? Day after day I sat teaching in the temple courts, yet you did not arrest me. 26 56 But this has happened so that the scriptures of the prophets would be fulfilled. Then all the disciples left him and fled. Condemned by the Sanhedrin. 26 57 Now the ones who had arrested Jesus led him to Caiaphas, the high priest, in whose house the experts in the law and the elders had gathered. 26 58 But Peter was following him from a distance, all the way to the high priest's courtyard. After going in, he sat with the guards to see the outcome. 26 59 The chief priests and the whole Sanhedrin were trying to find false testimony against Jesus so that they could put him to death. 26 60 But they did not find anything, though many false witnesses came forward. Finally two came forward. 26 61 and declared, This man said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and rebuild it in three days. 26 62 So the high priest stood up and said to him, Have you no answer? What is this that they are testifying against you? 26 63 But Jesus was silent. The high priest said to him, I charge you under oath by the living God, tell us if you are the Christ, the Son of God. 26 64 Jesus said to him, You have said it yourself. 
But I tell you, from now on you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the power and coming on the clouds of heaven. 26.65 Then the high priest tore his clothes and declared, He has blasphemed. Why do we still need witnesses? Now you have heard the blasphemy. 26.66 What is your verdict? They answered, He is guilty and deserves death. 26.67 Then they spat in his face and struck him with their fists. And some slapped him. 26.68 Saying, Prophesy for us, you Christ. Who hit you? Peter's Denials 26.69 Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. A slave girl came to him and said, You also were with Jesus the Galilean. 26.70 But he denied it in front of them all, I don't know what you're talking about. 26.71 when he went out to the gateway, another slave girl saw him and said to the people there, This man was with Jesus the Nazarene. 26.72 He denied it again with an oath, I do not know the man. 26.73 After a little while, those standing there came up to Peter and said, You really are one of them too. Even your accent gives you away. 26.74 At that he began to curse, and he swore with an oath, I do not know the man. At that moment a rooster crowed. 26.75 Then Peter remembered what Jesus had said, Before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. And he went outside and wept bitterly. Matthew 27 Jesus brought before Pilate. 27.1 When it was early in the morning, all the chief priests and the elders of the people plotted against Jesus to execute him. 27.2 They tied him up, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate the governor. Judah suicide. 27 3 Now when Judas, who had betrayed him, saw that Jesus had been condemned, he regretted what he had done and returned the thirty silver coins to the chief priests and the elders. 27 4 Saying, I have sinned by betraying innocent blood. But they said, What is that to us? You take care of it yourself. 27.5 So Judas threw the silver coins into the temple and left. Then he went out and hanged himself. 27.6 The chief priests took the silver and said, It is not lawful to put this into the temple treasury, since it is blood money. 27 27.7 after consulting together they bought the potter's field with it, as a burial place for foreigners. 27.8 For this reason that field has been called the field of blood to this day. 27.9 Then what was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet was fulfilled, they took the thirty silver coins, the price of the one whose price had been set by the people of Israel. 27.10 And they gave them for the potter's field, as the Lord commanded me. Jesus and Pilate. 27.11 Then Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said, You say so. 12. But when he was accused by the chief priests and the elders, he did not respond. 27.13 Then Pilate said to him, Don't you hear how many charges they are bringing against you? 
27:14. But he did not answer even one accusation, so that the governor was quite amazed. 27:15. During the feast the governor was accustomed to release one prisoner to the crowd, whomever they wanted. 27:16. At that time they had in custody a notorious prisoner named Jesus Barabbas. 27:17. So after they had assembled, Pilate said to them, Whom do you want me to release for you, Jesus Barabbas or Jesus who is called the Christ? 27:18. For he knew that they had handed him over because of envy. 27:19 As he was sitting on the judgment seat his wife sent a message to him have nothing to do with that innocent man i have suffered greatly as a result of a dream about him today 27:20 but the chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowds to ask for barabbas and to have jesus killed 27:21 the governor asked them, Which of the two do you want me to release for you? And they said, Barabbas. 27:22. Pilate said to them, Then what should I do with Jesus who is called the Christ? They all said, Crucify him. 27:23. He asked, Why? What wrong has he done? But they shouted more insistently, Crucify him. Jesus is condemned and mocked. 27:24. When Pilate saw that he could do nothing, but that instead a riot was starting, he took some water, washed his hands before the crowd, and said, I am innocent of this man's blood. You take care of it yourselves. 27:25 In reply all the people said, Let his blood be on us and on our children. 27:26 Then he released Barabbas for them. But after he had Jesus flogged, he handed him over to be crucified. 27:27 then the governor's soldiers took Jesus into the governor's residence and gathered the whole cohort around him. 27:28. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe around him. 27:29. And after braiding a crown of thorns, they put it on his head. They put a staff in his right hand, and kneeling down before him, they mocked him, Hail! King of the Jews. 27 colon 30. They spat on him and took the staff and struck him repeatedly on the head. 2731. When they had mocked him, they stripped him of the robe and put his own clothes back on him. Then they led him away to crucify him. The crucifixion. 2732 as they were going out, they found a man from Cyrene named Simon, whom they forced to carry his cross. 2733. They came to a place called Golgotha, which means place of the skull. 2734. And offered Jesus wine mixed with gall to drink. But after tasting it, he would not drink it. 2735. When they had crucified him, they divided his clothes by throwing dice. 2736. Then they sat down and kept guard over him there. 2737. Above his head they put the charge against him, which read, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. 2738. Then two outlaws were crucified with him one on his right and one on his left. 2739. Those who passed by defamed him, shaking their heads. 2740 and saying, 
you who can destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, save yourself. If you are God's son, come down from the cross. 27:41. In the same way even the chief priests, together with the experts in the law and elders, were mocking him. 27:4.2. He saved others, but he cannot save himself. He is the king of Israel. If he comes down now from the cross, we will believe in him. 27:43 He trusts in God. Let God, if he wants to, deliver him now because he said, I am God's son. 27:44 The robbers who were crucified with him also spoke abusively to him. Jesus death. 27:45 Now from noon until 3, darkness came over all the land. 27:46 At about 3 o'clock Jesus shouted with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, Lima Sabachthani, that is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? 27:47 When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, This man is calling for Elijah. 27:48 Immediately one of them ran and got a sponge, filled it with sour wine, put it on a stick, and gave it to him to drink. 27:49 But the rest said, "Leave him alone. Let's see if Elijah will come to save him." 27:50 Then Jesus cried out again with a loud voice and gave up his spirit. 27:51 Just then the temple curtain was torn in two, from top to bottom. The earth shook and the rocks were split apart. 27:52 And tombs were opened, and the bodies of many saints who had died were raised. 27:53 They came out of the tombs after his resurrection and went into the holy city and appeared to many people. 27:54 Now when the centurion and those with him who were guarding Jesus saw the earthquake and what took place, they were extremely terrified and said, Truly this one was God's son. 27:55 Many women who had followed Jesus from Galilee and given him support were also there, watching from a distance. 27:56 Among them were Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of the sons of Zebedee. Jesus burial. 27:57 Now when it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was also a disciple of Jesus. 27:58. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered that it be given to him. 27:59. Joseph took the body, wrapped it in a clean linen cloth. 27:60 and placed it in his own new tomb that he had cut in the rock. Then he rolled a great stone across the entrance of the tomb and went away. 27:61. Now Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were sitting there, opposite the tomb. The guard at the tomb. 27:62. The next day which is after the day of preparation, the chief priests and the Pharisees assembled before Pilate. 27:63 And said, Sir, we remember that while that deceiver was still alive he said, After three days I will rise again. 27:64 So give orders to secure the tomb until the third day. Otherwise his disciples may come and steal his body and say to the people, 
he has been raised from the dead, and the last deception will be worse than the first. 27,65 Pilate said to them, Take a guard of soldiers. Go and make it as secure as you can. 27,66 So they went with the soldiers of the guard and made the tomb secure by sealing the stone. Matthew 28 The Resurrection 28,1 now after the Sabbath, at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. 28,2 Suddenly there was a severe earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descending from heaven came and rolled away the stone and sat on it. 28,3 His appearance was like lightning, and his clothes were white as snow. 28 The guards were shaken and became like dead men because they were so afraid of him. 28 5 But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. 28 6 He is not here, for he has been raised, just as he said. Come and see the place where he was lying. 28,7 Then go quickly and tell his disciples, he has been raised from the dead. He is going ahead of you into Galilee. You will see him there. Listen, I have told you. 28,8 So they left the tomb quickly, with fear and great joy, and ran to tell his disciples. 28,9 But Jesus met them, saying, Greetings. They came to him, held on to his feet and worshipped him. 28,10 Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. They will see me there. The guards report. 28,11 While they were going, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priests everything that had happened. 28,12 After they had assembled with the elders and formed a plan, they gave a large sum of money to the soldiers. 28,13 Telling them, You are to say, His disciples came at night and stole his body while we were asleep. 28,14 If this matter is heard before the governor, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. 28,15 So they took the money and did as they were instructed. And this story is told among the Jews to this day. The Great Commission. 28,16 so the eleven disciples went to Galilee to the mountain Jesus had designated. 28,17 When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. 28,18 Then Jesus came up and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. 28,19 Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. 28,20 20, Teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always, to the end of the age. 28,21